Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and it's soup time. Like I said, in the fall I'll be making lots of soups, and today we are making one of my favorites. This soup isn't only so delicious, but it's also one of the easiest soups to make. This soup might give you special powers, it might not, it depends on what kind of ingredients you throw into this soup, but we're making cream of mushroom. I know, that's right, it's like mushroom week. We have chicken royale, and now we have cream of mushroom soup. If you like cream of mushroom soup, I can guarantee you this will be one of the finest that ever passes through your lips. So come take a trip with me and let's make some shrooms right in the instant pot. Start with some basic prep. We're gonna take one medium yellow onion, diced. Now this wouldn't be cream of mushroom soup without our most important ingredient, mushrooms. We're going to use two pounds or four eight ounce packages of baby Bella mushrooms that are already sliced up. If they're not sliced up, slice them yourself. So let's start at the instant pot and let's hit saute and adjust so we're on the more setting. Then we're going to add a half a stick or a quarter of a cup of salted butter and let that melt and bubble. Now that the butter is all melted and bubbling, let's add our mushrooms. And then make sure we stir up all of our mushrooms until they're nice and coated with all that butter in there. We put a lot of butter in there, so let's make sure all that butter coats all of our mushrooms. They're going to cook down a bit, and we're going to do this for about 10 minutes until the mushrooms are sweated out nicely, become soft, and almost caramelized a little bit. Kind of like how long we cook the onions in the French onion soup recipe. And just keep stirring and setting, and just let it do this for about 10 minutes. And once the mushrooms begin cooking down after about five minutes, it's going to start to smell incredible. And also about five minutes in, we're going to add one tablespoon of sherry wine as well. And then mix that up nice and good, and then let that cook for another five minutes. And after about 10 minutes in total of stirring and letting those mushrooms set, you're going to see that they're going to release a lot of liquid and they're really going to have cooked down. So now that the mushrooms have cooked down, I'm going to take a slotted spoon and reserve one and a half cups of the mushrooms. Put that in there. All right, and we're just going to reserve these and set these aside. And with the remaining mushrooms, let's add in our chopped onion. And then stir the onions up with the mushrooms and let that cook for another three to five minutes until the onions begin to soften. All right, and now that three to five minutes have passed and our onions have softened a bit, we're going to add a quarter of a cup or four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And then mix that all up with all of our liquid and our onions and our mushrooms. So you see that all the liquid has been really quickly absorbed by the flour. So we want to immediately now add our next ingredient. Now here's one of the key secret ingredients that's going to make this soup so phenomenal. Now you know how much I love Better Than Bouillon, and they make so many different flavors, including a mushroom base. You got that right, a mushroom base. Now it's going to be probably difficult to find in your supermarket. You probably have to find it on Amazon. That's where I got this. Totally a fair price, and it's going to really, really set that over the top. I'm going to link it in the recipe to where you can get it. If you don't want to use it, use chicken broth instead but you're gonna use five cups of this mixed together. That's gonna to be uh, five teaspoons of the mushroom base with five cups of water. And now let's pour our mushroom base to the pot and then give everything a stir and deglaze the bottom of the pan, which means slightly scrape the bottom of it from any flour or bread that might still be stuck to it. Now let's add in two teaspoons of dried thyme and a half a tablespoon of crushed garlic. And give everything a stir. And again, deglaze the bottom of the pan. All right, we are ready to put our lid on and cook. And let's get that lid on top, make sure we're in sealing position, and then come down to the pot, hit keep warm cancel, and then hit manual or pressure cook depending on your model, and we're gonna cook for five minutes on high pressure. All done, so let's quick release. Pin drop, so the lid comes off, and looking good, next step. All right guys, it's everybody's favorite part of doing a recipe. It's kitchen toy time, we're gonna use an immersion blender which is exactly why we reserve these mushrooms earlier, because once we pulverize everything that's in the Instant Pot with the Immersion Blender, we're then going to add these back into the soup, so it's gonna form a nice, thick, fuller body of having mushroom with every bite or slurp. All right, let's get that Immersion Blender in there and try to make it go as deep as possible so it doesn't splatter too much. And ladies and gentlemen, start your Immersion Blenders. <laughs> Alright, and we're done with this process and the soup will have thickened up a little bit, and now let's add some seasoned salt. I'm going to add a tablespoon of it, and then stir it up. Now, of course, this wouldn't be cream of mushroom soup without some heavy cream. Now, I strongly recommend you guys use heavy cream. The heavier the cream, the richer the soup. I'm going to use a half a pint or one cup of it. It's the exact same thing. And I'll just stir all that up as well, and then get it all nice and creamy. Mm, mm, mm. Look into my eyes, you're getting very shroomy. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to take those reserved mushrooms and then put them in the soup, but I'm also going to take a few of them and reserve those for garnish at the very, very end. 
Let's dump them into our soup. And give everything a final, final stir, and look at how beautiful that soup is. Talk about a cream of mushroom soup living up to its name, huh? I like the consistency exactly like this. If you want it a little bit thicker, add two tablespoons of cornstarch, put two tablespoons of water, make a slurry of a cornstarch, add it in now, and give it a few more minutes of stirring. All right, I'm gonna ladle some of the soup and put it into a bowl. Perfect. Now let's top it off with a few of those reserved mushrooms and some thyme. Make it look all pretty with presentation there. Oh yeah. All right. And now let's sprinkle some thyme. And sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And what time is it? Well, it's time to try this amazing soup oh, out. Oh man, oh man, I can't wait to try this. As good as it looks, guys, it smells even better. Mm. I'm gonna savor the flavor. Okay, the best way I can describe this soup is, remember Super Mario Brothers, that game, and he'd have to run and hit those golden question mark boxes, and a mushroom would pop out, then he'd have to chase the mushroom? How is that possible? Did mushrooms have legs or something? I never saw a mushroom walk. But regardless, if he would have hit one of those blocks and one of these bowls of soup would have come out instead, uh, the game would have been over. He would have beaten Bowser, and that would have been it. The princess would have been saved at the end. This soup is really on another level. It's so incredibly creamy, but it also doesn't taste heavy either. It's like this amazing light mushroom creaminess. It tastes like a cream of mushroom soup. You'd honestly get it fine dining restaurant and as you saw it's ridiculously easy to make and I really do believe it that mushroom better than bouillon is the secret ingredient to this soup guys it is unbelievable I'm hooked I'm hooked on this soup just be careful what mushrooms you put in this soup don't go in your backyard and pick the ones out of the grass use baby bell up because if you use the other kind I'm not liable for what happens if you start seeing monkeys sprout wings and dogs turning into cats okay Mm. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, if you like easy to follow recipes, go to PressureLookCooking.com. Every single one of my recipes are written out there, easy for you to have and print. Every single recipe is accompanied with an easy to follow video as well. It makes things so much easier for you. Um, it, go to my Facebook page, Facebook.com slash PressureLookCooking with tons of content there, including live videos once a week, memes, tips, all that stuff. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. Every time I post a new recipe, it tweets out so you guys can make sure you see that. Sign up for the newsletter PressureLockCooking.com as well. Guys, thank you so much again, and I'll see you real shroom.